Alright guys and guys, welcome back to another reaction video. Today we are back with some more Common Rider O's. We are looking at episode 19 today, starting a whole new batch of episodes. I am, of course, very excited to get back into some more Common Rider O's. Last time we got a little bit of a taste of our new Common Rider, Common Rider Birth, aka Date. I have to say, uh, he seems like a really good guy, but at the same time, he's definitely in the way of Unk and getting, uh, like, you know, letting him get, uh, more medals so he can recover. On top of that, he's also working for the Kogami Foundation, and more specifically, working for, um, Dr. Maki, who I feel like is the big problem right now, one of the big problems. Uh, so, while I do think that Date is a really nice guy... I cannot, you know, be 100% behind him because of who he's working for and the fact that he's taking so many of the cell medals. Like, it's really, really bad. Um, but we got to see a little bit more of how his suit works. I really like all the little gadgets that he has. Um, and I really like how, like, there's a lot of, a, I guess, like, a little bit of attention to detail of just how he collects the medals right afterwards. Like, either it's through like magnetism or he has those little monkey or gorilla robots like you know picking up the coins and putting it back in the jar that he has um i think i'm really gonna like this common writer for sure and a lot of you guys have ha said um some really good words about date so i think i'm gonna end up enjoying this character i'm really really happy that we're getting some more common writers and i still think that goto is also gonna be a common writer so we might get three common writers in this series which is pretty really it's pretty pretty cool we also got a little bit of a taste of a new sort of yummy like a, i guess a new situation where somebody uh sort of had uh not changing desires but like she the the victim of the last two episodes had like a desire within the desire so that created two yummies that uh our heroes had to defeat I, I really do like the change of pace in, in these episodes, like, I like how these new creative ideas are being, being put into uh, these episodes. It, it makes this, like, Monster of the Week format very different from other Monster of the Week shows, which I really enjoy. So I'm really excited to get into episode 19. I don't want to waste any more time. Before we get started though, just want to say thank you guys for watching. I really, really appreciate it. If you guys end up enjoying this video, then you can like the video, comment, subscribe. All those things really help me out. Sharing as well, sharing with any common writer fans that want to see some reactions. All those things really help me out. I really appreciate it. And if you guys have already done so, thank you in advance. So let's not waste any more time and get on with the actual episode. Oh. Oh no, he's been replaced! Goto! What a way to start the episode. He thought he was dead? Oh no. Oh, the awkwardness. It's literally been like two minutes. What is going on? Jailbreak? Uh oh. Hmm. Peacock core. So that's the one that's missing. Oh. Oh, wow, well, you broke him out. Damn, things are happening so quick. I half believe I'm watching part two right now. Is that so? Has he absorbed some of the core metals, regular core metals? Wow. I can't believe this. He has a, he actually has a little seat for that doll. We're, we're, da, da, look at that! That's so cool! I love it! We're getting closer and closer to the Unks combo. The crazy thing is, it's only three. There are supposed to be nine of them, so like... What happened to the other six? They're starting off this episode a bit, uh... Fast! Is anybody else noticing that? Goto starts working with, uh... With, um... Akiko, we have an escaped convict. 
We found more information about um about Kazuri. It's kind of like all happening at once. Oh, look at that. That's cool. I I like how that was added. Do you have more by any chance? God, I can't believe Mizul and Gamal are actually dead. That's insane. That's crazy. Mm-hmm. Oh, and then if you abandon the host, then the detective is gone. Oh, that's a bit sneaky. Unk won't like it if he finds out you did that. Oh no! Uh oh. Oh. Oh no! And we still don't know what's gonna happen to this guy because this is a different kind of yummy that Kazuri created. All right, slow down, Jesus Christ! He kind of, he's kind of dressed like. Uh... Who the heck are you? He's kind of dressed like Kazuri, isn't he? Yasuji. Oh no! Well, there's Kazuri right there. Boss. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. I don't want to see that. Alright, oh, the exact opposite of how you feel. That's actually funny that he, there's a common writer birth created by this man. <laughs> Good luck with that. Okay. Good luck with that. That was disgusting. Oh my god. Also, why is he looking for Shingo? Oh no, here he comes fucking screaming like always. Uh oh. Oh no, is this the guy he was looking for? <laughs> Just keep dodging until coming. There we go. <laughs> man, he wants this man dead. What the hell? Oh! It's kind of hard to fight him because it's like he's also human. It's like, what the hell are you talking about, sir? Oh, there he goes. This one's the most crazy out of all of them, which makes sense. But still. Get the hell off. これは刑事さんじゃなくて。何言ってんだよ。俺が恩人の顔見忘れるわけないだろ。カザリか。でも刑事さ。おう。あれ、あれは3年前の冬でした。ごめん、てかに俺のこと話したろ。すいません。僕
Is it to watch over? Arigato. Okay. Is it to watch over Eji? Or maybe to learn from him? That's what I think. Maybe it's to learn from him. It's still kind of weird how this guy's dressed so much like Kazu. You'll be great, bait. What is this group that we have going on here? He said he'd be your bodyguard. You've made a mess! <laughs> I'm then, I don't know, give him a hotel room! Where is he supposed to stay? Oh, he doesn't get any money yet! Oh, you pay, they pay at the end of the month? Well, that's what happens. Careful! Oh no! It's been real bad for him today. Ah! Oh, he gotta, yeah, you gotta scoop him up before he melt. Well, you gotta do something. Hmm. Interesting combo. Oh, okay, yeah, that makes sense. We've seen that before. Oh, there was a little bit of silver in there, too. Oh, Mizuo. Okay, never mind. Oh, yeah, you can see the jellyfish. Interesting. So it looks like Kazuri absorbed just enough for him to grow stronger, but not enough for him to go, like, crazy. Or maybe he is crazy, I don't know. But I'm pretty sure Mizuo's medals are inside him. Oh? Oh, that's not good! Okay, stop destroying it. Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! It's like a Hydra. You keep chopping it. Oh, no. Ah, oh, perfect. Okay, stop slicing them, Eji. Ah, oh, that sucks. Nice, nice. Oh, is it the solar flare? Careful! Yes! Alright, that's good. Hopefully it has effect. Oh, it doesn't have any effect! Is it because it has like... Oh, this isn't good. Look who it is! <laughs> well, there goes all your medals, Unk! He's gonna take them all! Oh! Oh! Okay, well, Kazuri and this guy is in the same... Okay, well, now he's being even more suspicious. I was gonna say Kazuri and him are in the same area, so I guess he's not related to him, but now I don't know. Impressive. That looks to be the case. Yeah, you see? Just enough for him to be stronger. Damn! Date is really meeting his match. Yeah, let's go! Oh no! Date, no! Yeah, you're not messing with a yummy anymore. Oh my gosh! Grappling hook! Damn! That's not good. That affected his arm. Freaking know it! 
Oh, uh, look at him. He's once a slimy toad, always a slimy toad. Uh huh. Look what he's wearing. He was practically telling us. I have a feeling. Um. Uh oh. Maybe Ankh knew because he sensed Kazuri when he was around, when that toad was around. Come on, hurry up! Hey, she no, the cheetah! Um, please have a plan! Oh god, I did not want to see yum. Uh, I didn't want to see greed feet today. Eight. Oh, he's so close. Oh my god! This isn't even all of them! <laughs> Just one more! Where's the last one? Is it in the book? Oh no. No, it's empty. Right, that's not good. So, a lot happened. A lot happened <laughs> in this episode. But, uh, it looked, this this was a pretty big episode for Kazuri. Kazuri is near completion. Uh, he has eight, he just needs nine. Crazy how for like eight of them, we're getting this huge lights show and the hair like getting longer and all that stuff. It's pretty crazy. Uh, I, I can't imagine what happens when, because we haven't, I, I actually thought that a uh, Gamel had all nine of his core medals and that's why he looked complete but no it was probably because he also was combined with Mizul and stuff like that but like um Kazuri is actually going to be the first one to ever have all of his medals if he gets to nine before anybody else uh so I don't think we've even seen anybody get eight of their core medals and I can't imagine what it looks like if you get all nine like I thought you would just like you know they would just get their color back and everything but it might be even more than that like he looked like he was about to become a god but um yeah that was still really really cool to see um we uh I have a no doubt that um Ankh actually saw this coming and took all of his medals out of the booklet which you know great idea but at the same time it's like oh man the booklet you know we just got that thing it was a gift from Hina, so hopefully we get to get the book back, you know? I don't, I don't want it to just be, like, thrown off the side of the rooftop. But yeah, I definitely had some, like, suspicions about the guy, mainly because of what he was wearing. Like, his color scheme was yellow, he was wearing a fur, like, jacket or whatever. Like, it was like, alright, something suspicious definitely going on here. And it looks like he was, uh, actually, basically, Kazuri's temporary flunky. Um... Which, I mean, I, well, one, I mean, like, he was probably forced to do it, but at the same time, he was like, he was probably not hesitant <laughs> to do it, uh, either. Like, yeah, sure, I'll betray him, just don't kill me, please. You know, it was, there was no, there was no in-between there. There was no, um, conflict morally inside of his head. He was, it was definitely, he's definitely the kind of person that, that, that's all about self-preservation. So, besides that, we also have other things going on. Uh, for start starters, Kazuri does have some of Mizul's medals. I wonder if that is also, that also contributes to the whole light show that we got going on. Um, we also got to see what that does to the Yummy. Once again, I said this at the beginning of the episode, but like, I do like how they freshen up this Monster of the Week format by introducing new things. And now we have this, I mean, like, I think it's just really, really cool to see. And, um... I, I do like it's the jellyfish powers and the the lion powers. I think that's really really clever um, And also it's having effects like you know as can't do a lot of the things that he wanted to do because like the solar flare Apparently doesn't work because it's basically like two yummies in one um, We see uh, yep as trying to destroy the jellyfish and it just ends up creating some more jellyfish It's just it, it's uh, really really cool very dangerous too, very powerful uh, how they're gonna destroy that thing. I have no idea but um, on top of that we also have uh, Goto working in the um, The restaurant no idea why interested interested to see uh, But like we as he wakes up and he, Goto's already working there, you know bright and early as Goto usually does even um, Satanoka is or Satanoko is really surprised like she's like hey if you wanna 
uh take some days off you gotta you gotta recommend it you know you gotta you gotta you know uh request it on on the website or whatever and it's it's now i'm like all right so is this a mission from the mr kogami or is this something that he's doing on his own my first instinct is maybe he's trying to learn from edgy but i don't know i don't know what his plan is um and then after that we had that whole thing with um dr maki and his puppet is definitely used for gags in this episode for sure um and i i am so interested to know why he's using that puppet like what the heck is going on here but yeah this episode was really really good i really really enjoyed it can't wait until the next one you know i always look at epi love episodes with kazuri in it and we're getting a lot of that definitely so tell me what you guys thought about the episode down in the comment section down below tell me what you guys thought about my reaction and i'll see you guys next time until then bye